Hey guys, welcome to the 192nd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our reader and writer class. So in the previous tutorial, we finished up making our reader class. So now we just have to create our writer class. So let's just go right here and say public class writer. And like just like the reader class, we're going to want to inherit from this base I.O. class. Because remember, inside of this base I.O. class, we have that enumeration for the byte order, and then we have um, a variable for that byte order. So we're just going to want to inherit from base I.O. And now we're just going to want to set up our constructors. So we're going to just type CTOR and then just hit tab twice. They so don't actually have to write out like public writer and stuff. And we're just going to need to have the user pass through the path to the file that they want to write in just like the um, reader class right here because remember inside of this constructor we just have them pass through the path so we're just going to say um, string path right here and then we're going to want to create a new binary writer so we're going to have to go up here and create a binary writer so that we can use it in all of our methods and I'm just going to call it bw and then inside of the constructor right here we're going to set bw equal to a new binary writer and then we're just going to want to pass through that um, that path that the user passed through the constructor. So it's going to say a path. Alright, so now basically whenever the user creates a new instance of the writer class, it will just create a new binary writer with the path that the user specified. And just like the binary, or just like the reader class right here, we're going to want to create another constructor that will allow them to pass through the byte order so that they can change it if they want it to uh, write in little endian. So we're going to say um, public uh, writer so we're going to say CTOR and then just hit tab twice and then just like up here we're going to want to have them pass through the path so string path and the um, byte order variable so byte order and I'm just going to call it bo for byte order alright and just like up here we're just going to want to create a new binary writer with that uh, path and now we just need to set the um, byte order variable to the byte order that the user passes through so we're going to say byte order and we're going to want to set that equal to the byte order that the user passes through so we're just going to set it equal to bo and same thing with up here, only we're just going to set it defaultly to big endian. So we're going to say byte order equals uh, byte order dot big endian. So that it will defaultly be big endian if the user doesn't specify what byte order they want. Alright, and just like with the reader class, make sure that you have a summary of what the constructor is and stuff like that. But I'm not going to write it out in this tutorial. You guys can do that on your own. And the last thing we have to do is create a property for the position. Um, of the writer. So we're going to say public, oops, public long, and we're going to call this uh, property position. So position, and then we're just going to want to get and set the property um, position inside of this uh, binary writer class. So we're just going to want to say right here get and then return bw.basestream.position. So the position of the binary writer. And then when the user sets this uh, position property, we're just going to want to change the uh, position of the binary writer. So we're just going to say set, and then bw dot base stream dot position equals the value that the user sets this property to. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We have all the boring stuff done for this writer class. In the next tutorial, we're going to actually get into writing values. So see you guys.